agents basically reach the alveoli of our lungs. And what these, uh, what these oxidizing agents can actually do is they can actually change or mutate the structure of alpha-1 antitrypsin. Now, if we examine the structure of alpha-1 antitrypsin, we're going to find a very important residue, namely methionine-358. And it's the methionine-358, this side chain of methionine-358 that is responsible for actually interacting with the active side of elastase. Now, if these oxidizing agents, as a result of smoking, basically interact with this side chain group, they essentially will oxidize it to form the following product. And this sulfonated product isn't able to actually interact with the active side of the elastase very well. And so we see what smoking does is, as a result of the presence of these oxidizing agents, it changes or mutates the structure of the alpha-1 antitrypsin so that it isn't able to bind to the active side of elastase very well. And what that means is we'll have a higher concentration of elastase inside our lungs. And a higher concentration of active elastase means, that going to, uh, means that's going to destroy the tissue found in the alveoli of the lungs. And by destroying the tissue, that changes the elasticity of those alveoli, and that will make it much more difficult to breathe. We're going to have to breathe harder to exchange the same volume of air. So we see that smoking brings oxidizing agents into the alveoli of the lungs. These agents can interact with the methionine 358 of alpha-1 antitrypsin and oxidize it. And this will decrease the ability of the inhibitor to bind into the active site of the elastase because it's this methionine 358 that is responsible for actually interacting with that active site of elastase. Therefore, smoking leads to a higher concentration of active elastase in the alveoli of the lungs, and this can basically destroy the tissue in the lungs, and that can increase the likelihood that the person who smokes will develop the medical condition we call pulmonary emphysema or destructive lung disease.